expecting a press conference at the top of the hour from that state's Republican Governor Mike Pence as the fight continues to grow around the religious freedom law. It's a fight already in the state of Arkansas with protesters yesterday calling on the state's governor to veto a similar law that Arkansas's House is expected to vote on as soon as today. Andrew DeMillo covers the Arkansas State House for the Associated Press. He joins me now from Little Rock. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. So do we still expect this vote to happen, and, and, and do we expect Governor Hutchinson to sign it? Yeah, the, the vote right now is on the calendar for the State House this afternoon. Uh, the House has already approved an earlier version of this, and the expectation is that it's going to get through the House pretty easily uh, this afternoon if it does come up. And the governor has still said he plans on signing this uh, religious freedom into law if it reaches his desk. So, so what is different about this law called the Conscious Protection Act compared to the law that, well, has caused such a backlash in Indiana? Uh, you know, it's it's very it's very similar to what Indiana just enacted, and similar to what you've what you've seen uh, uh, other states. And the backlash here has been, you know, basically has mirrored what we've seen in Indiana. With you know, you've seen hundreds of protesters here at the state capitol urging uh, Governor Hutchinson to veto this, and you're seeing uh, uh, several businesses also speak out against it, uh, warning the governor that this really hurts the business climate in the state. So what is Talk to me about the timing. I mean, what has happened there for, for those folks to, to feel that this is a, a need to implement this law now? Uh, you know, it's, a, it's kind of a change in the national climate, especially with uh, the gay marriage debate. Uh, gay marriage uh, legalized in more than half the states right now. And the ruling from the uh, U.S. Supreme Court in the Hobby Lobby case that really seemed to strengthen the argument from conservatives for uh, measures like this. Uh, this also comes on the heels of another measure that was enacted in Arkansas that prevents uh, cities and counties from expanding uh, local anti-discrimination protections. Uh, Arkansas law does not include sexual orientation or gender identity in its uh, state anti-discrimination protections. Uh, Hutchinson uh, last month allowed another measure to go into law that basically prevents states from, uh, from allowing those protections at the local level. Andrew DeMillo, good to see you. Thanks for being with me this morning. Thank you. And joining me now to talk more uh, from the activist angle is the executive director of Truth Wins Out and radio host Wayne Besson. Wayne, what a pleasure to see you. Hi there. So what clarification are you looking for in this Indiana law when we hear the governor speak at 11? Well, I'd like to see this law thrown out, and I'd like to see LGBT protections put in place. Right now, it is legal to fire uh, people for being gay in Indiana, and the governor has been disingenuous the entire time. He has made it clear that protecting LGBT people from discrimination isn't on his agenda, and protecting discrimination is. And, and, he, and by digging in, he is digging the grave of the reputation of Indiana, and his bunker mentality is a disaster for big business. He should listen to Apple CEO Tim Cook when he says this is dangerous, or the Marriott CEO when he says this law is pure idiocy. He's putting special right-wing interests over the best interests over the, for the citizens of Indiana. I spoke to the Indiana House Speaker last hour. I want to play for you a part of uh, his response to the law. This is the same law that is in effect in 30 other states. Uh, most of the CEOs and others that we hear from when they say we're not coming to Indiana, they in fact have the precise same law in their state. It's just not controversial because the law doesn't allow discrimination. So why does one side say something so dramatically different than the other? Well, it's about context. When these original freedom restoration uh, laws were passed, they were about uh, legitimate protection. For example, saying a Muslim could go to prison and, and closely shave his beard, or that Christians could feed homeless people in parks. But in the context now, the religious right sees these marriage equality laws across the land, and they're saying Christians don't have to participate, uh, and other religious uh, religions as well, saying, you know what, we can make our own laws. We can opt out of this. And, uh, we, and which is just going to lead to a state of anarchy and chaos. And we know that this is about discrimination. Mike Pence, 
uh, the government of Indiana was on the board of the Indiana Family Institute, which is uh, it created to be anti-gay. And at the bill signing, he was surrounded by anti-gay activists, those comparing homosexuality, for example, to bestiality. And, uh, and, and we have the American Family Association, for example, on board, which is a Southern Poverty Law Center hate group. This is very clear. And by trying to claim this isn't about anti-gay bigotry, it's disingenuous, and nobody believes it. And the governor of Indiana looks like he's flat out lying. Wayne Besson, good to see you. Thank you for being with me. Appreciate your time. Thank you. And we'll be watching that 11 a.m. Eastern Time press conference.